Hey family, welcome to the extended read. I hope that you are blessed and well. So in this portion of the read, we are going to focus on you, okay? Um, how to best navigate through this, what the divine wants you to focus on, anything else that's coming up uh, concerning you. The divine wants you to be focused right now on you and releasing this energy from this past connection of this person that's trying to get back into your energy. So let's go ahead and get into our breathing. Inhale positive life force energy. Exhale and release any stress or anxiety that you may be feeling at this time. Most high God, divine Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, spirit guides, guardian angels, divine beings of the highest white light, please come in and connect with me now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for our collective loved ones to reveal what we need to know today. Let there be none of me and all of you. Please anoint and authorize every word that's coming out of my mouth. Please encamp the angels of war and protection around myself and the collective. Ashe. So in the first read, we were talking about someone that you are connected to that you may have children with or there's some type of attachment to this energy that's pulling on your heartstrings, wanting you to focus on them, help them, heal them. Okay, and with listening to your heart, it's just, this is what the divine is feeling like. You, with this person pulling on your heartstrings, wanting you to help them out of situations that they have put themselves in. So the divine is saying, no, okay. We are shifting you out of that. You need to focus on yourself, okay. With this sharing of yourself in the reverse, when it comes to this person, the, the divine is not wanting you to focus on that at all what do you want our loved ones to know see or do at this time holy spirit accepting what is okay this is the overall energy it says i accept and embrace my inner majesty okay this is beautiful so accepting what is especially for those of you that have children with this person holding on harboring any resentment any anger any frustration to this person to the past what happened in the past only allows that toxic energy to be prevalent in your connection with your children it is also teaching your children how to deal with conflict so this accepting what is, is just handing this over. Like you see these two hands here. Handing this to the divine. No, it's not the ideal situation. No, it's not what you signed up for. No, it may not be fair. There was injustice. Maybe you didn't handle things the right way. Maybe this person didn't. But the divine is urging us to accept it, it, it is what it is. What can I do to move forward? How best to move forward? How can I keep my children in a safe, healthy mindset? How can I teach them how to progress after dealing with difficult situations? What can I do? What role will I play in molding 
them, who they are, how they see things, how they navigate through difficult situations, okay? And this, again, is the divine saying, the energy that you choose to step into, what you do after this situation or what you did will definitely determine, one, how your children see you, how your children see this person, and how they will move in their lives, okay? In their own lives, how they will handle things, okay? With diversity out here, we are being guided to help our children to understand that there's all different types of people in our world. Everybody is not going to be like you. Everybody is not going to think like you. Everybody is not fair and upright. Everybody is not uh, toxic, okay? The divine is really wanting us to guide them, allow them to see for themselves the differences in people, situations, so that they can come to their own conclusions about their connections, okay? Teaching them to forgive, releasing anything that is not going to help you grow, okay? Forgiveness is about, first of all, understanding that at one time or another, we were all unhealed, okay? We were all in a karmic mentality at one time. To what extent, okay, that may differ. Some of us were really deep down in Karmicville. Others of us spent a weekend there, hung out there for a while, or did some low vibrational things and quickly got the message and moved forward after a divine intervention. Um, there's other people that are institutionalized in Karmicville and they will never leave Karmicville, okay? So they become agents of darkness. Okay, because they are aware that they're operating in a low vibration. So forgiveness is understanding that someone is not in the best mind state when they make decisions. Even if they are fully aware that they are making a bad decision and they still do so. Forgiving this person says, okay, this person is not in the right place in their mind. Okay, I forgive you because you know you don't know any better. Okay, I forgive you because you did know better and you still chose to do this low vibrational toxic thing to me. And that lets me know that you are definitely in need of healing. Okay, I forgive you. Okay. I will allow this experience to propel me forward so that I'm aware when these types of energies are near me, okay? Forgiving releases that anger, that tension, that frustration I have with you and allows me to move forward, okay? I forgive myself for the mistakes I've made. I forgive myself for allowing myself to be in situations that I should have never been in in the first place. I forgive myself for uh, allowing my shadow side, my urges, my desires, uh, temptation to take over me at times. I forgive myself. I understand that I was not in the best mind state and I, I'm going to heal from that or I've healed from that and I've moved forward. Okay, so this is the divine is wanting us to see some things here. Okay. The divine is also wanting us to understand why there was an intervention, okay? What was it that we were holding on to so tightly that the divine had to come in and bring in this hammer, bring in this tower, bring in this axe to destroy connections that were not meant to stand. So accepting what is, some of us have been through situations that were just completely a freaking mess okay not knowing how 
you were ever going to get through it not knowing feeling like i just want to go to sleep i'm just gonna keep it all the way real i just want to go to sleep and not wake up to this mess okay but whoever you are with these hands here i feel like you gave it to the divine some of us still have our hands out that means some of us are still trying to keep our hands in what we're already released okay you see this it's not really touching this flower it's giving it to the divine but still having your hands in it a little bit which is what the divine is saying uh, you need to just take your hands out of this okay and accept what it is i'm seeing so much on this card i'm also seeing someone wanting to help bloom these people help them to grow and the divine is saying that's not your place either you still got your hands in my business you're still trying to micromanage me how i how i help this person to grow the divine is saying accept what is take your hands out of this focus on you okay this is where we are right now so let me see. Thinking, spying, hoping. Okay. This is your energy. Thinking, spying, hoping. I feel like right now it's a mystery what is going on. Fully, you don't fully know. Um, you maybe know somebody is wanting to mend something with you. You know this person could be spying on you. Take what resonates with you. Please know that these messages are general and not personal. Okay? It may not apply to you today. But I feel like this is going to be for all of us. After dealing with situations that we've dealt with. Whether it be with yeah, broken situations. And look at this. Reconciliation and social media. Okay? Somebody here definitely. There's a strong energy of wanting to reconnect with a player type of energy and energy not necessarily only in the sense of like cheating but somebody that plays a lot of games someone that is not healed someone that is not ready your guys want you to focus on you so what what do you want our loved one to know right now one card holy spirit please unfinished business okay i'm seeing two things with this with this falling beneath diversity i feel like you may also feel like you have unfinished business with this person the divine is saying you have unfinished business with me with your higher self with your spirit guides okay with diversity here i feel like the divine is wanting you to reel it in Okay, and not be here, there, and everywhere. You need to be focused on healing. Focus on your business. Focus on your children. Okay, um, and not so much what's happening in this connection with this person. Okay, with unexpected outcome on the bottom of the deck. Whoever you are, you feel like you've come far enough and you're healing to make an effective change in this person's life. But this is not going to go the way you think it will. It says things didn't go the way I planned. And the divine is saying, number one, the fact that you want to go back into this to try to reconnect lets me know that you still need to heal something concerning your heart chakra, concerning this person. This energy of overgiving, overextending, trying to fix something, trying to be the peacemaker in every situation, okay? This is an energy of neglect that you need to heal. You have some type of energy where you feel guilty, okay? And the divine is saying this is not accept what is whatever this person is going through they need to accept what is they need to accept that the choices and decisions they made in their life brought them to where they are what else here for our loved one 
we have a flyer. Okay, we have runner. What else for runner? And beginnings. This is giving me the energy of somebody that is somewhat conditioned to stay in situations that are less than ideal to prevent you from going forward. There's some type of fear about disconnecting fully from the past. So you tend to sabotage new beginnings or run away from something new, okay? Hoping for the past to be more bright and beautiful, okay? What else? Yeah, broken, okay? So the divine is saying unfinished business is you healing right where you are, accepting what is, healing, focusing on more healing, okay? So that you're not a magnet for broken connections, toxicity, having something to fix. I feel like you will go into your next connection with a strong desire to fix, okay? Instead of the energy of working on being whole within yourself so that you can identify broken things, broken situations, broken people. This is kind of sad. What else, Holy Spirit? Unappreciated. The divine is speaking. Speak, Holy Spirit. They're showing me the similarities in these cards. Now, I just said, the divine said, accept what is and take your hands from around this flower, okay? You cannot make something grow. And look at what the, the on this card. Another person holding another flower. You were unappreciated by whatever this was, okay? Or this could be multiple connections. But you are still in this energy of wanting to hold and mold and help something grow and fix something that does not recognize your value and worth. You're still trying to mold something, okay? Even though you felt like someone didn't do the same for you, somebody didn't care, the divine is going to cause another tower. If you can't start to see that you run towards people that need fixing, Okay, because there's something in you that you have not fixed. Speak Holy Spirit. Okay. This goes back to somebody's childhood. Okay. And the divine is saying you are trying to escape the unfinished business that you have on the inside of you. Okay. Now, I can feel the energy of some beautiful things coming up for somebody. New beginning energy, okay? And somebody having anxiety about it and setting boundaries to block themselves. Self-sabotage energy. Okay, make it up. Two of swords, block. Okay, blocking your own celebrations, your own happiness with the Three of Cups. Ace of Swords. What is coming up for our loved one? What do they need to know? What do you want them to focus on, Holy Spirit? Queen 
Queen of Pentacles. Okay, this is what we started with on the second half of the spread before. This is you focusing on your peace, your abundance, your parenting, your stability. Okay, there's a lot of good things that are coming in for you. A lot. Okay, but how you sit on this throne is going to be contingent upon you healing what has not been healed. You working on those parts of you. That bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands are still burdening you at this time. You using your intuition in situations. You seeing something from a higher perspective. Okay, on how to move. Why is the Queen of Coins here, Holy Spirit? The World card. You fully closing these cycles out. Closing the door on anything that's not serving you. Okay? You traveling. You moving away from connections that are broken connections. Where you are unappreciated. Okay? Where you are not get, getting what you are giving. Okay? Also, with the world and the Queen of Pentacles, I'm telling you, there is a beautiful new beginning. Okay, this could be something that you are doing online that's going to bring in a lot of abundance, a lot of attention. Okay, you're going to be able to travel. You're going to be able to do a lot of things that you want to do with your children. You're going to be building some type of legacy for yourself. Okay, bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. Okay, but this is about perspective. This is about cutting out the BS. This is about seeing the truth of your yourself, of how you perceive your situation, of cutting down to the core of your shadow side, okay? Working on that shadow side of yourself, putting an end Two, there's a lot of queens out here. Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords with the Death card, okay? This is thinking smart, putting an end to things that are not serving you, even in your own behavior, and alchemizing this energy to create the life you want for yourself and your children. This is very powerful energy. What is the Queen of Coins in the world? There's some really good stuff coming up for somebody here. If anything comes out in regards to mental health, physical health, law, finances, family matters, therapy, okay? Please do seek out professional assistance in those areas. This is general and not personal and it may not resonate with you. Seven of Pentacles, okay? This is about you investing in yourself. Seeing the fruits of your labor. Even when it comes to your offspring. What are you pouring in? Okay. Seeing them grow to be productive, powerful, educated people. Okay. Making smart moves. Not operating from a broken place. Not being codependent in connections that are not pouring into them equally. This is beautiful energy. Really, really beautiful with the Knight of Coins on the bottom of the deck. Okay, we got the Queen of Coins and the Knight of Coins. You could have teenagers or small or small children that are observing you, that are now looking into uh, being people that are diligent, that work hard, that have uh, goals to uh, reach. Okay, people that understand that it takes hard work to get to this Three of Cups celebration energy. Okay, being willing to do the work. Okay, not always taking shortcuts. Okay, and dealing with how you dealt with this Three of Swords, this heartbreak energy, how you continuously worked on yourself when it wasn't easy to get to a place of peace. I really love this energy and it's making me feel a little bit emotional. <sighs> yeah. Wheel of Fortune with the Magician. Wow. Alchemy. Okay. Forging ahead to create 
this destiny for yourself, this legacy, this beautiful life, okay? Changing your situation with a magician, changing the things around you, okay? When you could have easily, with a magician here, had the power to manipulate something, to try to enforce somebody's karma, try to make somebody see something a certain type of way, trying to turn your children against somebody or make them become cold and bitter and broken people, make them feel some type of way about people that do not reciprocate good energy, okay? But the way that you transmuted this energy or the way that the divine is guiding you to with the magician and the beginnings okay and this open door on the wheel of fortune it's like that you're guiding your your actions are showing your offspring that when you are faced with difficult times and you with the full card have the opportunity to give up and just jump or trust the divine see things from a higher perspective move forward try to start new with a new beginning okay understand that everything under the sun is seen by the creator of all every person that caused you to be in this broken place did not appreciate you did not see your value whether it's in relationships work situations whatever okay the way that you handle this situation is, or the way that you will, the way that the divine is guiding you to, is very beautiful. It's very beautiful. And with the page of wands here, is very impressionable on your children. Your children will become the alchemist. Your children will see difficult situations and study them and understand how to navigate them so that they can be in a place where they are creating, building. Do you see this person building? All they have is this little one and a hard hat, okay? How to protect themselves, but how to move forward nonetheless. Beautiful. I love this energy. King of Cups. This is about, I'm hearing retracting, okay? Retracting. This is you focusing on self-love. You being emotionally balanced. You holding back from projecting the kind of energy that you are receiving, okay? The hermit. <laughs> You going within the Six of Swords. You moving to a calmer place. You taking yourself to a calmer place. Or allowing this divine intervention to move you to a calmer place. And something big is about to happen with this Wheel of Fortune. And the Magician with the World. Queen of Coins. Okay. The divine is guiding you to your success. What is this energy, Holy Spirit? telling you the divine is guiding you with the chariot oh yeah you're going places you are definitely going places six of wands i can't make it up you are headed to public recognition victory success abundance power okay a glorious win this card says with humility, with grace, okay? And you will be able to get this earned rest, this peaceful place that the divine wants you to be in. You're gonna earn it, okay? And there's something that's coming up now about a partnership, whether this be romantic or a business. What is this energy? of partnership, Holy Spirit. Ten of Wands in the reverse with the judgment, okay? The divine is saying, okay, now you can drop this burden of this connection because with the judgment here, I have something for you. 
Eight of Wands, quick communication coming in about, I feel like this is a partner with the High Priest is showing up. That's a confirmation for me. What is this energy, Holy Spirit? King of Swords. Okay. Did we not see the Queen of Swords out here a minute ago? Okay. This is that, this is your partner. You, the divine, is going to bring in success, partnerships, somebody that matches your energy, okay? Somebody that is grounded, loving, four of wands energy, okay? Ace of coins, okay? The divine is bringing in this opportunity for balance, love, divine union, partnership, abundance, okay? This person is going to be a nurturing parent, okay? I'm seeing a blended family. You could both have children from previous connections. This person is going to be a good parental uh, guide for your children. You will be one for theirs. What else, Holy Spirit? Queen of Cups, okay? And King of Cups is already out here. I'm telling you, this person, this is your match. Here's the King of Cups. <laughs> your person is on the way, okay? Both of you are very King of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Loving, smart, beautiful people, grounded, good parents, good head on your shoulders, business-minded, okay? I love it. Okay? What else? Knight of Coins. This is bringing me back to the card I saw that about your children. Okay, and there's something about a family business here with the Knight of Coins, Ace of Coins, Queen of Coins here. A legacy that you're going to pass on to your children. All because you moved away from this place of fixing broken connections. You stop feeling like you have to be endure in order to help others progress and you still be in this broken place. All because you let go and let God, okay? Because, like I said, your offspring, your little ones, your little sponges, page of swords, are watching you like a hawk. They're also watching their other parent like a hawk. They're observing, they're seeing the way that things are being done. Okay? And you, with the Knight of Coins here, are going to contribute to productive growth, knowledge, tenacity, diligence, hard work, completion, completion, completing things they start, okay? Focused, okay? You're creating kings and queens, okay? And lastly, the two of cups. What did I say? Two of cups energy a minute ago, okay? This is beautiful energy. This is really beautiful energy. Okay, and where the Two of Cups was placed, right on top of the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Everything that you desire is here, okay? I'm seeing the Ace of Cups is not out here, but love, abundance, Ten of Cups, happy family. This is beautiful. What's the final message for our loved one? Four of Coins. Holding tight. Here's, here's the Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Okay, I'm I'm telling you. Okay, this is this is giving me the energy of a very tight bond, very close bond, protected. Okay. The moon. This is about you following into your intuition. This is about you healing that dark, darker side, that shadow side of yourself. 
There's so much. There's so much prosperity. Ten of coins on the bottom of the deck with the justice. Oh my gosh. With the star. Okay. Wish fulfillment. Abundance. Happy family. Justice. Things being balanced out. All of this is coming. All of this is coming. And this is all about the moves you're making now or the moves that you're being guided to when it comes to retracting from uh, being in a combative energy when it comes to healing the parts of you that cause you to want to fix broken situations allowing the divine to guide you balancing your energy four of swords thanks speak holy spirit this is all this boils down to being able to retreat regroup recharge reconnect with the divine your spirit guides your higher self allow them to guide you okay i love it let's get a self-care message for you okay also seven of swords with the ace of swords seeing the truth of deceptive energies seeing the truth of deceptive energy within yourself at times okay taking this mask off ace of swords and seeing the truth of everything okay I want to get an angel message. Let's flip that over. Change and surrender. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, positive thinking. Positive thinking is vital in creating a healthy and abundant life. A positive attitude alongside positive beliefs and thoughts are crucial ingredients for creating happiness. Don't worry, think love. This is what you're being guided to do, especially concerning your children. Okay, speaking positivity over them. This is not toxic positivity. This is not uh, teaching them to evade the truth or accept what is okay we're teaching them to accept what is but to find something positive out of every situation okay surrender to the divine there's no point in pushing the barrel up such a steep hill go back to the start surrender your expectations there is an easier way when the time is right a new path beginning will appear okay surrender accept what is Realize that divine intervention was at play. This was not meant to go the way you think it was meant to go. The divine has other plans, okay? Change. Life is a journey. It would be very unfulfilling if each step was exactly the same as the last. Because life is always changing, it is forever fresh and new. Allow your life to unfold gracefully. Be grateful for what was, is, and forever will be. Ashe. Let's get you a message from Spirit. I'm very excited for whoever you are. You got a lot of good stuff coming up here. Okay. I'm seeing a very prominent partnership, union. Okay. Not only in love, but in business there's something significant about business with your new person that you're going to be working on connecting with them okay let's see spirit what is the message wow that fell out fast okay we have dearest you we are sending you waves of love and joy as we watch you reap the rewards of your tenacity and faith. We know how long it has taken for you to reach some of your goals and that you've had disappointments along the way. Right now, we suggest you take a deep breath and fill, up, fill yourself up with gratitude and tune into the vibration of well-being. Temporary conditions may be trying to hypnotize you into seeing something else as your reality. But we know that what we know that happy rewards are on their way to you even now. Change is the only constant, so be open to it. (laughs) 
you will achieve your dreams and more, we promise. But more important, your happy rewards will be gathered up in the small moments, the gentle breezes, the soft kisses, and the quiet commitments. Your happiest moments will be on the journey itself, not in arriving at any destination. You are surrounded by so much love and care. Can you feel us? This is beautiful. I love you, family. Get excited. Things are about to move quickly. We saw the Eight of Wands. I feel like the Divine is about to intervene again on your behalf because you are in this energy of accepting what is and moving forward positively. Okay? Your children are very blessed to have you. Okay? Keep, keep this in mind. Page of Swords with this child on it, okay? This is about um, the knowledge that they're gaining, what they're seeing, what they're watching, what they're observing, what is shaping their minds, hearts, spirits, actions, okay? This is very important. The Divine is very proud of how you're handling things. You are building up and rearing children that are going to be very productive that are going to help our world to be a better place that are going to have a desire to contribute to forward movement and growth in our world it's beautiful it is beautiful and this is where they want you to shift your energy for those of you that are still harboring any resentment for past connections you're being guided to work on healing that journaling meditating praying asking your guides to help you release that energy accept what it is and move forward okay as i picked this deck up for i was guided to we have the nine of swords so there's definitely someone here that is still going through that maybe having sleepless nights about situations so your guides are wanting you to release that energy okay release that give it to your guides allow them to help you heal okay I love you, family. If you are in need of a meditation, check out the Lightworks goodie bag in the description box. There are tons of really good meditations there to help you cleanse your energy and clear your mind. If you are in need of a personal reading, um, my information is in the description box below. If you want to join the raffle, donate to the channel, or join the membership, all that information, again, is in the description box below. Peace and blessing, loved ones. Ashe. Archangel Michael, please clear the energy in the space. Until next time, peace and blessings.